Thank you for your interest in SPRMC's educational video series. In this session, I will be adding a Kibana dashboard to PeopleSoft. It contains only one visualization, which I will be adding as a tile in PeopleSoft. The dashboard on the right contains multiple visualizations. This dashboard will open when you click on the tile. A few things that you will need before you can utilize a Kibana dashboard in PeopleSoft. For starters, in this demonstration, I am not building a dashboard in Kibana. If you don't have an existing dashboard, please refer to video number three in this series, creating a visualization with your PeopleSoft data and applying it to a dashboard. Secondly, to utilize PeopleSoft application data with security rules intact, you must be on PeopleTools 858. Lastly, you will need to have access to PeopleTools Search Framework Administration. In People Tools, there are five steps that you will need to go through in order to utilize a Kibana dashboard. These include import, configure, deploy, securing, and adding. From this page, you will import your Kibana dashboard into PeopleSoft. On the visualizations page, you will create a content reference name, a label, and then select the full dashboard that you want to display along with the tile and specify the size of the tile. Now that we've configured the dashboard in PeopleSoft, we need to deploy it. On this page, I will assign privileges to the dashboard. In the example, I've used our administrator role and given the privilege to edit the dashboard. Edit will allow you to open Kibana and view the dashboard and visualizations within Kibana. Add the tile to the page. I've added mine to the Payables Operations page. Welcome to Kibana. This is the home page. From here, I'm going to select the dashboard that I've already built. First dashboard is the AP payment, which is a full dashboard. And then a second dashboard that I'm going to import into PeopleSoft is just this pie chart. Back in PeopleSoft, I'm going to navigate to the PeopleTool Search Framework Administration tab, where I will find the various options that I need to configure in order to import Kibana dashboards into PeopleSoft. From the Import Kibana Dashboards page, I will add the two dashboards that I would like to import. You will see the JSON files have been created. From the Kibana visualizations page, we will need to add a content reference, a label, select the full dashboard view, select the tile view. This was the single pie chart that I showed previously. I know that it's a little bit larger, so I'm increasing the size to two and two, and then we will save. Next, we need to deploy the dashboards. You see that they are currently undeployed. Simply select the two dashboards you want to deploy and deploy those. Now we need to assign role security to the dashboards. I'm just going to use administrator in this example. By adding the edit, that will allow this user who has administrator role to edit the dashboard in Kibana. We'll now add the Kibana dashboard to the Payables Operations Work Center. Add a tile, our tile is called Payment Type.
our standalone Kibana tile is now part of this works. If I click on the tile, it will take me to the full dashboard. The dashboard has full interactivity, just as if you were in Kibana, but we are still within PeopleSoft. Clear the filters. I mentioned earlier, open in Kibana was the link where we selected edit. This enables power users to then go back into Kapana should they want to further modify this dashboard or any of the visualizations. I hope that you enjoyed this session in our Kapana series. I encourage you to visit our website for additional information on Kapana webinars and training.